Want to learn a form of art that I do when I'm not drawing or painting that actually helps me stay inspired to create art? In this video, I'm going to show you that. Plus, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places to get my inspiration fired up. Coming up. Hey, what's up? I'm Dawood Marion, visual artist and instructor, helping you learn advanced art techniques made simple for beginners. In this video, we're at Urban Aura Eco Park in Berkeley, California, where I actually have a Kit Bash art exhibition on display right now. Let's go check it out. Here I've used toy trucks as a basis, then added found objects to them to create cinematic post-apocalyptic models. Each model did take some time because of the gluing process and the way that I go about creating my models. Let's take a closer look at a few of these. This started out as a Nissan pickup truck. By adding all kinds of broken parts and miscellaneous things to it, I made it look more like a battle utility vehicle or something. I added the touch of red to the wheels, kind of like a fashionable touch to it, a little flair. It was inspired by the Air Jordan brand, which typically is black and red. I wanted to merge a fashionable appeal into this gritty post-apocalyptic type theme. Here is the original toy, which is a garbage truck that I started out with on this one. And here is the final product. I left the paint gray because I like the way it creates contrast with all the shadows and it kind of reminds me of a film like Sin City. Also leaving it gray, it sort of looks like a CG model to me, but this is obviously a real life model. He's the artist. By the way, if anyone wants to take a shot at sculpting this in CG on a software like Maya or Moto or something like that, leave a comment in the comment section and perhaps we could hook up, you could create something and I'll show your work in one of my videos. I created this truck to have a look and feel of the kind of vehicle that you would see in a movie like Mad Max Fury Road. But actually, I created it before the movie came out. This is one of my favorite creations and it would be really hard for me to part with it if I ever decided to sell it. This one started out as a Tonka Jeep and this is what I turned it into. I used to play with these when I was a little kid and sometimes I still do. This model probably took the longest to make because I use different type of glues which have a different contact time. And this was a quick shot I created where I used the model as like a miniature for a live action film. I use a green screen method commonly used in film production to make the model look life size and fully functional. This one started out as a broken remote control truck, and this is what I turned it into. I 
added a lot of rusted type texture on top of all the broken toy parts and miscellaneous things that I glued on top of this model. This is a spaceship that I created that was inspired by the spaceship from the movie Aliens called Shalako, which was designed by Sid Mead. This is the original Buzz Lightyear character from Toy Story, and this is the tall, busted, rusted, messed up, metal monstrosity of a robot that I turned it into. This character took me a while to make as I put all these large pieces, like this big piece on his head that has the guns look like they've been fired off a lot of times, all this paint and these little numbers and letters that I put on it, all these different stickers from model kits that I put on it. I made the paint to look like it was just really old and overused. And finally, this Iron Man mask I turned into this. I glued all sorts of cords and wires and stickers and all sorts of things just to make a really menacing character and to try to take this as far from the original design and look of the Iron Man character as possible. I really wanted to scare people with this one, but with style. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. One way you could support the production of videos like this and support the channel is to hit that like button, subscribe, and also share this video with people who you think will be inspired by it. I will see you soon. Peace.